All right, we wanted to talk a little bit about writing reactions today. So writing reactions, postural responses, balance, balance reactions, they all kind of go hand in hand, but um, I've referenced writing reactions when I was talking about grading movements and I referenced it in other areas also, but so I thought we would spend some time talking about it. So I don't know how well you can see here, he definitely has a left lean of his head. Um, he also has it of his trunk. It's a little harder to see with clothes on. I will try and find a picture somewhere of him where you can see it. It has gotten a lot better and his is just from placement in utero. Oh, and we're spinning up. Sorry. I don't know why I didn't have a burp cloth with me. I should know better by now. Um, anyway, his was from placement in utero and he just came out with the whole body left preference. And we've been doing lots of tummy time to work on it and has gotten a lot better. But the reason I bring that up is, so, okay, I gotta backtrack for a second. So writing reactions are when the body starts to go away from neutral, the, the, they recognize it through their receptors and they send messages oh, and they try to correct it. Are we gonna be grumpy right now? Um, so if he starts to go to the right, or sorry, to the left, he should be, try to correct, you can see the leg going up, and his body is like, wait, I'm going away from midline, I need to correct this. Um, they will do it also with going forward, yep, you can see him starting to correct, and backwards, the feet are coming up, they're a little hard to see. Um, so that is our body's way of saying, hey, I'm away from midline, let me automatically do it. Now, I use writing reactions sometimes to help with strengthening, especially for kids with torticollis. Oh, you had something to say about that? Okay. Um, but, like I talked about, he has a left preference, so because his body tends to hang out to the left, as soon as we go to the right, yeah, welcome to our life. Like I said the other day, I'm waiting for that six month mark. Um, as soon as he starts to go to the right, his body's gonna register it even faster because his body spends so much time on the left. So he doesn't even, so just going to midline is gonna feel like he's away from midline because he is getting all this input to, saying that this is normal for him. Um, now with that respect, when we go to the left, of course he's looking away. Hey buddy, hey. So when we start to go to the left, it takes a lot more movement for his body to even register and sometimes even a lot more time because it has to go, it has to send the message and now you can see he's starting to pick up but it didn't happen nearly as fast as when we went to this direction and you can see he's reacting almost immediately because the stimulus happened a lot faster. Um, now what do you do with that? So we've talked about it before. Um, you can do lots of things like I will hold him in this position so that he has, so that it gives plenty of time for those writing responses to kick in and you can see he's lifting the head up to the right. So he's working on strengthening that. Um, it's getting a little bit of the trunk muscles um, more of the head, but he has full body, which is oh so exciting, huh? Um, so this is one way you can do it. I'm gonna pause the video for a second and I'm gonna get the ball and show some other way. Actually, before I do that, he's a little too young for s doing a lot of sitting stuff. He's 12 weeks today, um, but as they get better at side sitting or even ring sitting, you can just kind of hold them over to the side and give his body time to recognize. And he also has to have the strength to do it, which we're getting there, but we're not there yet. He's still a little young to be doing independent sitting or to have fully functioning writing reactions, but they're there. Um, but I'm supporting him under the arm. I'm giving him a little support at the hip. Um, it's just how much is he gonna do to be able to correct now? Right there, I can feel him lifting up, so I might give him a little bit of assist. Hi, bud. Hi. 
and then come back. I might move slower, so like as we go down, so as I move slower, give his body time to react, to come back up again. Um, so now I'm gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna go get the ball. Be right back. Okay, the ball is another great way. Um, so we're back in sitting right now because this is kind of the easiest to see. So I can just move the whole ball and you can see the arm going. So he's actually trying, I'm giving him fairly decent support right around his midsection. Um, we're gonna go this way and you can see he's already reacting. Um, again, side to side is easy for me to show because he has the preference, but we can go forward and you see that head coming up as soon as we start to get forward. And we go backwards. Uh, and as he went way too far back, you saw those feet kick in and the head try to come up. So he needed more input there to recognize what was happening. Um, some more advanced ways are you could go some diagonals. And they may not even be more advanced. You can play with them and see what your baby does. He actually reacted way better than I thought he would. Uh, we can do diagonal over here. So now we're getting some lateral and forward backwards. Oop, and we're gonna come over here. Sorry, he keeps going off screen, but he's actually reacting. It's kind of cool to feel. And we can come back here. Um, another way to work on the laterals, I'm gonna see, this is it's gonna be a little hard to see. Um, let's see. So, I'm gonna try this. Now, I would normally be back here, and I'll show you what I would do, is I would kind of go side to side here, and oh, oh, you have some opinions about this. And he's picking back up. And then I might move over to this side and he reacts way faster. I don't think you can see it on the video, but we're going to go back this side and I'm supporting him back here at the hips um, because I'm back a little bit. I'm giving him a little less support so that his body has time to react and I'm not clamping down and making it so that only one area has to, but that's because I can feel what he's doing. Um, I'm going to turn it around. So that would be the direction I would normally do it, but I'm going to try it this way so you maybe can see a little bit more of his body okay hi bud okay ready we're gonna go this way oh you can see the reaction he's like i'm going too far let me come back up and now yeah oh you're telling them you didn't that was hard huh now we're gonna go this way and this way is the harder way you can see we're not reacting yet hey bud hey and if you have something visual for them to look at in front of them, um, so like I'm in front of them right now, but I can't quite get down low enough because I don't have enough room behind me, um, that can help. So if they can focus on something in front of them, um, it'll help them to get the input faster. But also when I was over here, I can kind of just hang out, maybe give a little bit of a bounce. Um, we're melting a little bit right now, but so this is another exercise I like to do a lot. We can also do forward and backwards in this position too. Um, this can just help with activating the extensors and the more they co-contract co together, the more he's going to learn how to work both muscles at the same time and we might start to lose some of this left preference. Yes, all right. So all in all, writing reactions are really important for function and for balance and for posture um, so that is why we want to give our kids experience in a lot of different positions and a lot of different movements and I, as you can, I just grade my support based on what he's giving me so if he's doing really well I might be a little bit lighter with my hands if he's having a floppy day I might give him higher tighter support so anyway that is just a little bit on writing reactions. Please let me know if you have any questions. And I feel like I talked a lot today, but hopefully it was helpful. And that can just end our session.